Hey guys, John Lux here, back with a new blind playthrough. This is Helltaker. So this was actually recommended kind of in general as a testament to what one indie dev can do. So this was developed over about the course of a year by uh, a guy that goes by the name of Van Ripper. And the music is actually provided by a uh, artist, I suppose, that goes by Mit Mitzies which apparently the whole OST is up on YouTube, so if you like the music, definitely check it out. If you like the game, it is free to play, free in general. Uh, the, the DLC, if you will, I believe, is the soundtrack and a pancake recipe, which you can purchase for about 10 bucks. Um, now, honestly, I heard, I heard this game was good, and I was interested what one guy over the course of a year could accomplish. And apparently it's quite a lot. So I wanted to check it out. I wanted to share it with you guys. And, um, you know, kind of if this is something you're interested in, game dev or whatever, uh, making your own video games, let this be a lesson that you guys can accomplish great things if you set your mind to it and you work hard enough. Uh, now, I don't know. I, I don't know if this guy was doing 100 hour weeks or what, but... You know, anything you guys want to do, keep keep pushing for it, is, is what I'm saying. So, let's begin. You find yourself surrounded by the void. Press enter or A to continue. Beelzebub, the great fly. Excuse me. Greetings, little one. Please don't mind me. It's just I, good old Beelzebub. I'm probably going to be yawning a little bit through this. Uh, I'm unfortunately chronically sleep deprived. I have both sleep apnea and insomnia, so I can't sleep, and when I do, I can't stay asleep. So that's always fun. Joining me is Jack. He's in my lap right now. He's one of my cats. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If it's not your first time, welcome back. Uh, my cats do make appearances regularly. Usually they walk across uh, the desk in front of me and obscure my view of the monitor, and occasionally show up in front of the webcam. Uh, so you may see Jack here soon, you may not, well, we shall see. So let's do new game. Now something that I note is that you can do a chapter select, and one of the, so by the way, this is a puzzle game, it's an indie puzzle game, and the premise is that you are in a quest to make a harem of demon girls, apparently. And we all want a harem, whether they're demon girls or some other, you know, race or gender, right? But apparently, at least according to the description, uh, you can skip the puzzles, which is kind of neat. I don't know if you can actually select any chapter you wish, but tire demon, lustful demon, trip, triple demon, sour demon, bitch demon, curious, curious angel. Oh. Awesome Demon, CEO of Hell, Judgment, and Epilogue. You might just be able to skip straight to the end, but uh, might not work out if you want to beat the puzzles there. Let's go. Story of the Helltaker again. Interesting. Now, hopefully I sound okay. I haven't been able to see any settings or anything. I did a little test recording, and we should be good as far as the sound, but I haven't advanced this is farther than I've gotten in my test recording, so I'm going in completely blind. We shall see. Uh, story of the Helltaker again. Interesting. Do you by, by any chance need a narrator? Why, please, allow me. It will be a pleasure. You woke up one day with a dream. Harem full of demon girls. You had me at harem. And girls. It was, however, not an easy dream to achieve. It could cost you your life. When demon girls are involved, no price is high enough, you said, as you ventured down to hell. Oh, you can see some sharply, I believe they said they're sharply dressed girls in the background. No, oh, there goes Jack. Well, he stood below the webcam, so you can't see him. But uh, the picture actually below me and kind of the border for this is uh, kind of the title or the thumbnail for the game. There's a, a demon girl with like a fork and a knife and a smile. And interestingly enough, the Helltaker logo or thing is across her eyes like it's the censored 
uh, Japanese thing. I thought that was kind of interesting. It's probably deliberate. But apparently... Now, the music wasn't done by one person, but apparently everything else was. Presumably the art as well. So we'll see. Oh, oh, I can't use Z and X. Let's try A. Uh, also not A. Let's try Enter. There we go. Helltaker. Life advice. Okay. L or LB. Restart R or RB. Can I move the mouse? I don't see a mouse on the screen, although it goes off onto my second monitor. All right, so. L or LB, R or RB. So there's us. Presumably that's us at the upper right. And the demon girl we're, we're trying to recruit at the bottom right. And then enemies in the way and blocks of some former fashion. So let's try... Do we move? Okay. Turn counter or number of moves on the left. I don't know what one is. One girl to get. Let's uh, let's try right button for restart, presumably. That does not work. I, I don't know why. I do have to... Okay, let's try R. Oh, there you go. Life advice, L. Wait, do the any of the other buttons... All right, so we have the WASD does appear to work. And that's kind of helpful that the R is right there. You can just restart. L, life advice. You want advice, but you have nobody to ask. Well, that's unhelpful. You haven't found any cute demons yet. And no matter how cute I might be, I'm but a narrator. I wonder if Beelzebub is gonna become a cute demon. Go find some harem-worthy maidens so you can pester them for advice to your heart's content. Okay, well, let's see what happens when we go near these demons. Skeletons, whatever they are. That's not what I expected to happen. Slick animation, by the way. The Helltaker thing coming in like that, that's good. So we kick them out of the way, and then what? Okay, I was wondering about that. Push them up against a wall and then you can break them. Do we have to kill them all? What happens if we do? All right. Presumably, that's the same thing with the blocks. No. All right, we'll restart. Wait, did I move twice there? Can you hold? You can. Okay. Great music also. So you have to be really careful. You don't want to hold. You just want to tap. Because you don't want to make too many movements at once. I presume you don't need to, but I'm hoping there's an achievement or something. I know it's silly, but... Alright, so now the puzzle becomes how do you get past these blocks? There you go. Okay. <laughs> so the answer is, uh, just go. I mean, you have to do it within the time limit, within the turn limit, I suppose. So just don't worry about it. Like going down and hitting him would be a waste of time. When I could just kick him over, presumably. Ah, oh, 
You just have to get next to her. It doesn't matter if you run out. Pandemonica, the tired demon. Name's Pandemonica, Hell's customer service. How may I serve you? Enter, I suppose. Do I, can I click also? No, let's try enter. Uh, we can figure something out at my place or maybe I can serve you instead. I'm gonna go for the stud answer. Maybe they're both stud answers. We can figure something out at my place. You thought you were leaving hell alive? How delusional. Bad end. She took your face in her hands and snapped your neck with professional gentleness. <laughs> All right. Really? So you have to choose the right answer also. Okay. I'm not sure it matters. Was that sound effect? Was that like a Castlevania sound effect? It kind of sounded like whipping some of the skeletons. Name's Pandemonica. Maybe I can serve you instead. Sweet of you to offer. I could really use some coffee. I'm not myself without it. Success. Achievement unlocked. Doom maker. Doom taker. Uh, all right. Presumably that's not the same girl. Let's try life advice. Since we travel together, I might as well do my job. You've noticed how exploring hell takes a lot of will. In hell, if you run out on will, you die. Run out of will? Eh, minor typos, I guess. Walking through, walking through spikes take tw takes twice the will. The trick is to spend as little time on spikes as possible. Thank you for relaying relying on Hell's customer service. Yeah, could use an editor for the uh, English. How would you rate your overall satisfaction with provided help on a scale from one to 10? Oh, I could choose it? Let's say 10. Whoa, never got a 10 before. Oh, two, it must be the level. Wow, so it must be really short if there's only 10 levels. Okay, so, spikes take twice the will. Well, I mean, both are gonna require the same. Yep, there you go. And then you have to kick him. Oh, any actions performed on spikes also take but you can't do anything else. You literally have to. So presumably it would be best just to go this way and then down. What happens if I kick this? Oh, oh crap. Got it. Um, hmm. Presumably you just move it down twice and then go get the girl. Ooh. There you go. Modius, the lustful demon. You and me, now. Okay. Deal, no questions asked or no time, busy gathering girls. 
Probably no time busy gathering girls is the right answer, but let's say deal, no questions asked. They always say that and then they try to run away. I'll have to break your knees just in case. She pulled out a sledgehammer. It was not going to be pretty. <laughs> maybe it's like, maybe it's like the first answer is always the bad end and the second answer is always the right one. That would be handy. Man, I love that transition. You can also use the up and, you know, the arrow keys. So that's handy. No time, busy gathering girls. Demon harem, you poor fool. They will rip you to shreds and I have to see this. Oh, there's three of them. Three on level three, that makes sense. All right, so there's a key. Oh, I'm over there. I'm right next to the door. Gotta get to the key. Okay, so. They all seem to be dancing in tune with the music, too. What next? Um, I mean, we could just try it. It doesn't it doesn't look like going down and to the left with the skeleton will be a great idea because you'll have to kick him every single time. So it's like that whole thing will cost you two. Going over and down might actually be the best way. Probably not, because that took half. Maybe, we'll try it. Nope, one short. Try going down. See, that takes more turns. Unless... Okay. Got it. Cere Cerberus, the triple demon. Are you human, a real human? Please take us with you. Deal, no questions asked. This is getting too easy. I have questions. Deal, no questions asked. Oh. Yes, at last, it's time to corrupt the mortal realm. Let's go get that other bad end first. She looks frowny faced. Can I hit escape? Oh, resume, skip puzzle, music, medium, sound, high. Main menu, does it automatically save our progress? Is there anything else you desire? Uh, not new game, chapter select. Maybe it doesn't need to save your progress. Maybe it's just whichever chapter you go to. Oh yeah, life advice. Uh, Modius, the lustful demon. Advice, easy. Skip all the puzzles, gather all the bitches, and let's in engage in proper harem activities. I, I, there's no nudity in this game, apparently. There's only suggestive stuff from what i understand from what it said on the thing please forgive modius most demons are like her lust for sin is in our blood hard to keep in check as for the puzzle try not to spend too much time kicking around those undead slaves and you should be fine 
Got it. Well, I mean, we already figured it out, so... This is getting too easy. I have questions. We need a human to cross the Hell's Gate. You don't have to be in one piece, though. That end, they jumped you like rabid dogs, canine sounds included. The cuteness of it all gave you a heart attack. <laughs> uh, that is fun. All right, let's just do this again real fast. Now I appreciate the uh, holding down of the butt. It's time to corrupt the mortal realm. They are sharply dressed, I have to admit. Okay, well, um, let's take life advice. You don't look like you need help with this one, or you just wanted to talk. Hey, do you smell that? Orange, berries, and vodka? There's no doubt. That's got to be Melina. She acts hard to get, but maybe you'll figure her out. Then we will all hang out, and it's going to be fun. Well, we have to get the key. So presumably the best way is down. That's not what I wanted to do. That doesn't work either. Um. This might be bad. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Melina the Sour Demon. Great, more brain-dead idiots. Never seen your ugly face before. What are you playing at? Uh, I'd sure love to play with you, or this is delicious. Please insult me more. She plays hard to get? Let's try it. Uh, sure, I'd love to play with you. Like what? Video games? Sure, why not? As long as you're okay with turn-based strategies. Success. Uh, main menu. Anything else you desire? Chapter select. The Sour Demon. What happens if I skip the puzzle? Uh, this is delicious. Please insult me more. Fantastic. Just my luck to find another masochist creep. She made a swiping motion and a fountain of blood exploded from your... From of your devastated, from your devastated throat. Not a problem. But apparently, hell is not a big deal, or dying over and over again. Even when she's happy, she's unhappy. All right, looks like spike traps, and then. Uh, what is that, an athletic girl? Up there? Uh, well... What, never played rhythm-based dungeon crawlers, have you? If the rhythm of the spikes is not to your liking, just kick some rocks around until it does. Not sure what that means? I, maybe it's every other action you do, the spikes trigger. This place stinks of smoke. Zadrata must be close by. Oh no, please no. Yep. Okay, so when I go onto it though, will they lower? Yes. Okay, this is good. So, where? Okay, well, let's grab the key first. We probably don't want to do that. Maybe you have to. Because it'll go up, down, back up. So you probably don't want to do that. You probably want to kick. But do you want to kick up this one?
that might be the one you want to do. Because you don't want to be standing on the spikes and then kick. That would be bad. Let's try going over, kicking that one up. Or not. Uh, might not have a choice. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Zedrata, the bitch demon. Yo, I've heard about your harem. I'm in. Wait, I have a feeling I'll regret it. It's not really a harem anymore. We just play turn-based strategies. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna try this one. Too bad, I'm coming anyway. Go ahead, try to stop me. Oh, that's right, she's a bitch. All right. I, you know what, though, I really do want to get the bad ends for them. That's, oh. Oh, this must be the Curious Angel. Wow, I have a lot of turns. That's not good. Main menu. Chapter select. Bitch demon. Well, we're almost halfway through. We're basically halfway through. not really a harem anywhere. We just play turn-based strategies. Holy shit. Let me put you out of your misery. Your vision swam. The last thing you noticed was a knife buried hilt deep between your ribs. Okay, so the picture actually works this time. That's good. I mean, it matches. Oh, shit. I messed that one up. Right. That's funny. It's funny because she's a bitch. I get it. Okay. Let's get some life advice. Don't look at me for puzzle hints. I'm not a nerd. Maybe go kill yourself on some spikes. It'll be amusing. My sister's always like that. I can't believe you invited her. Yeah, what were you thinking, man? Glad you invited Malinka, though. She spends too much time all alone playing the most nerdy video games I've ever seen. Can you please shut up? Do you know how she how turned on she gets while playing them? That one time when she kill one of us, me or her, please, fast. Kill them both or kill yourself. <laughs> kill them both? Just leave them be. You get used to it eventually. That's funny. What happens if I say life advice again? Okay, same thing. What do you think you're doing? Hey, wait. You had it. Oh, hey. Achievement unlocked. Life taker. You had enough. You decided to follow Zadrada's advice and kill yourself on the spikes. <laughs> uh, this is great. This is, this is honestly great. And for free. You can't... This is why I love doing this channel, because I'm, I'm, I want to find all these unique, interesting games, preferably for free, but, you know, they don't have to be, and, and share them with you guys. That's, this is the greatest, this is the greatest thing ever. You know, whatever, and I'm, you know, finding all this, you know, out of the way stuff, like, it's, it's not going to get me views and, and, or subscribers or whatever, I don't, I don't, whatever, I don't care. I'm having a great time. That's what matters, and I hope you guys are having a great time, too. Cheers. Even if you're not drinking anything alcoholic, cheers anyway. This is a uh, Coke and Cognac, which is actually not bad. It's not bad. It's not great if you want an actual good, like, uh, mixed drink. Uh, like a Coke. Maybe like a sweeter one, one with made with one made with actual cane sugar. And a, like an Irish whiskey. Because those are... They're fairly mellow, they have good flavors. Um, 
<coughs> Excuse me. Uh, maybe... <coughs> Sweet baby Jesus. Uh, no, Sexton is probably... It's one of my favorite Irish Irish, whis wi Irish whiskeys, and it goes well with Coke, although I try not to drink soda, so... All right. This is going to be a pain, because it's small and we have a lot of moves. Step one, get the key. What is the most efficient way of doing so? I probably can't move the, the block. You can. All right. This is probably not the way you want to go, because no matter what happens, you're going to take a hit. And I doubt you can... Yep, there you go. Nope, you can't move it past him. So, let's restart. <clears throat> Man, excuse me. Um... So, we probably want to push the... Oh no, we can't do that either. I was gonna say, the the block just north of the, the lock, maybe push that down. But if you push it down, then you're stuck. You have no way of getting to the actual lock at that point. So... <clears throat> you do have to go down pass the skeleton, push the block over, push it up. Let's try... No. It can't be this one. It has to be... No, that doesn't help. <coughs> Let's try pushing this down. That's probably the wrong thing to do, but we'll try it. Alright. Yep, and we're screwed. Alright. So if I push this middle one down, that's bad. It does nothing for me. Let's try... Two more moves, which means I need to not I need to not hit the spikes a second time. I wonder if that's the wrong way, if we do this first. Push that over. Push that up. I think we have to do this. Okay. 
Okay. Azazel, the curious angel. Oh my heavens, what would a living human be doing in hell? Most unusual. Uh, looking for demons. Oh, you too? Let me guess. Thesis on modern sin, or is it demonology? We should join forces. Oh. She's the obsessed type. Well, let's... Okay, so now we know that the... Man... I just wish it would give me the Curious Angel. All right, so I think it was this way first. Looking for angels. You won't find many here. Lucky for you, I know a better place. Please, hold my hand. Who would have guessed that lying will get you into heaven? Say goodbye to your demon harem, though. Heaven taker. Whoa. She's in femdom. Into femdom. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't a bad end, technically. It gave me an achievement, which is kind of cool. But all right. All right, let's do this again. I love his little suit. All right, we should join forces. So we have an angel in the harem as well. I mean, do they understand what a harem is? 32 moves. Presumably... Oh. You have to go through that little... The path with the spikes, because if you don't... Like, you won't be able to move the rock. And presumably you have to get rid of both of those guys before you do. Let's get some life advice. This one looks tricky. Might require some testing to find the perfect order of moves. Please, take your time. Miss Modius here is sharing with me her considerably warped view on love. Things can get violent, so moderation is important. People die if you love them too much. You do have to be careful. I was looking at the, the background picture, but this one's not wearing a tie. Or gloves. How fascinating. Please expand on that. I want to know all the details. Alright. Cool. Off to a good start. Oh, crap. So... You do have to push that up. And that one up. Right. You have to push that up. And then... I don't even know if you need to kick that dude. Twenty-two. This dude is here. He is here to kick. But just so you can do things like this. <sighs> Did I screw that up? Careful planning of moves. I gotta say the the sides, awesome. Awesome to look at. Very cool. 
doesn't require a huge level of skill either. As in, like, I mean, they're very, they're very uh, intricate, but it's not like, um, it's it's very simple drawings. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, um, it's not like really, really realistic looking stuff. It has a style and it's simple, but. Maybe the guy is an actual artist. That's possible too. But, but it seems like this is something that, quote unquote, anyone could do, if you, if you have a good idea of art direction. But maybe you're not the highest skilled artist. It seems like this would be a good choice. And I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that as like a, uh, anyone that wants to do something like this you know play to your strengths okay how do I freaking solve this one plan your moves I get it uh... Because these all require you to... Okay, well, let's see what happens. Okay. So I go through the thing, kick him, move the block. And you have to move the block. Cat hair. Cat hair was in my mouth. Um, so you got to move the block over once, you got to move it over again. So that is the right thing to do. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I start here. Take two. You don't want to go up and down. That would be a waste. Not much option for that though, you have to go up and down. You don't want to waste, because you still have to kick the rock out of the way. No, it only takes one, it's just I was, uh, I'm one short. I'm one short somehow. If I don't have to kick, to kick that out of the way. I 
I might not need to push this out of the way, though, yet. Ooh, that's clever. Justice, the awesome demon. HPJ. Yo, did you just solve that puzzle? That's awesome. What is HPJ? Hell's something? I don't know. That's awesome. Oh, uh, this is probably going to get us killed, but that's what we want. We want to see this. I just skipped in the menu. Want to join my harem? Okay. That totally sounds like something I would have done. Let's sure, let's go. The more the merrier, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Anything else you desire? The awesome demon. I can't believe that. I choose the wrong answer, or what I thought was the right answer, and it's the wrong answer, because she's like, oh yeah, I would have skipped it too. It's like, yo, did you just solve that puzzle? That's awesome. It's like, yes, I solved it. It took some work. Want to join my harem? You don't have to ask me. I'd never miss a party. Oh. No matter what you say, you succeed. That's awesome. Right. Well, we are at number eight. Let us stop here for the time being. Uh, you know what? Let's let's keep going. Let's. Can I just go around? Oh. Oh, I can't get life stuff. Can I reset? Yes. Let me get life lessons first. I can't get life lessons for some reason in this one. Oh! Lucifer, the CEO of Hell. This is the one on the background. We meet at last. You've proved yourself worthy by passing all my trials. Pledge your soul to me, and I'll make you my most treasured slave. Uh, no thanks, but you can join my harem. I'll say yes, my queen. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong one. If there is a wrong one. Eager little soul. Bad end. As you knelt, she planted a kiss on your forehead, and your life melted away. I assume that's blood. Pledge your soul to me. I'll make you my most treasured slave. No thanks, but you can join my harem. What are you trying to accomplish? You think you can enslave demons to your will? Call me master and ask for permission before you speak. I can offer coffee, turn-based strategies, and chocolate pancakes. What if I do this one? Do you get multiple bad ends? I assume she's not gonna dig this. I see I have to teach you your place. She made a hand gesture and all of your blood turned to vinegar. It's hard to explain the feel. It's probably not good. It's probably not good. I can offer coffee, turn-based strategies, and chocolate pancakes. Really? Is that it? You come here and try to buy me over with pancakes? You're lucky I have a thing for pancakes. Achievement unlocked Queen Taker. Oh, she's happy though. <laughs> You're lucky I have a thing for pancakes. I think you've convinced me that harem of yours may prove to be entertaining after all. 
It is pretty lucky she has a thing for pancakes. There's just a door this time around. Let's get some life advice. If you if you can't do it, just skip it in the pause menu. I don't want to be sitting here all day. Just look at all this mess. It seems nobody used the Hellgate in quite some time. Makes me wonder how did you get how did you got here in the first place? How did you get here in the first how you got here? Makes me wonder how you got here in the first place. That's a great question. There was something about, in the description of the game, something about, oh yeah, he took a portal or something. But I guess we're if we're going through the Hell's Gate, that means we're going back to Earth. It looks like he can do miracles. He somehow got you out of your office after all. True, he's the first one to not take the slave offer. <laughs> For a second there, I hoped he would give you a slave offer. Justice. Don't give people ideas that will get them murdered. Oh, come on. I'm sure you'd enjoy some maid roleplay. Oh, right. Can we just... Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's... Let's try and do this one. Um... It looks simple, but I doubt it is. Because you move you move this block. And then uh Right, if you move this up you That might work still if but then you do this and you know, it's kind of screwed. Right, so maybe do this. I don't know what moving that one up did. one is actually semi-challenging. Also, I like how all the rocks have different cracks in them. That's kind of neat. You'd expect them to all be just the same rock. This is the wrong thing to do. I think because before I did this. Screwed. Screwed, but... <laughs> All right. Uh... See, this is bad. I feel like that's probably the way I need to go.
Okay. Of course, now we have a problem, right? Because I can't kick this one over. Crap. Still, same thing. These puzzles are actually pretty good. Like they're very well designed because they use essentially all of your moves. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Get that out of the way somehow. I don't know, we'll stop here. Uh, we will stop here, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Let me just check, make sure there aren't any any cats underneath me before I wheel my chair back. Um, I really thank you guys for your time. Thank you for your attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's a little bit different. A little bit different. Um, I like it. I like it so far. Uh, something I do like to do at the end of every episode is a unique positive moment. It's supposed to challenge you to uh, find the positive in life and uh, kind of help you be a happier person, basically. I could go more into it than that, but, uh, but we're running out of time. So what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, I'm actually going to say this, uh, this rum and, or not rum and cognac, uh, Coke. Cognac and Coke. There we go. Uh, it's not it's not the greatest, but it's pretty good, and it, uh, it does its job. So that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.